to his OJ, everyone's favorite Nigerian. It's that real life shit, nigga. I mean, unfortunately, J. Cole, you a bitch ass, dumb ass, goofy ass, bald headed ass. You decided to back down and be a hoe and a bitch on your, in front of your own fans. You got to take the L for that. And you will never, ever, ever, ever live down that L. And I'm so disappointed because I rocked with you heavy. And I'm so disappointed you are a bitch and a hoe for that. And it was never nothing that serious. No guns going to get drawn. I was going to shoot a fucking uh, North Carolina, wherever you from. Faye Nonville, whatever. No one was going to do nothing to you and your crew. All you had to do was bar up. That's it. And you couldn't do that. You bowed down and you gave up the throne. Don't want to hear no more fucking shot bars. Don't want to hear no more. He don't want to battle with me. No more. I'm the, I'm the king shit. No more, bro. You gave that shit up. You let Nas down twice. You let your whole fucking crew down. The fact that you even made a song called I Let Nas Down should have told us what type of time you want. Because why the fuck do you give a fuck about Nas coming up? You're not paying your bills. You made a hit song, and you're tripping on what Nas thing. That's the, man, I don't want to hear it. Man, I'm pissed, bro. I'm really hot about that shit. And he thought he was on some peace of mind shit. I kind of felt him at first, and then after a while, I was like, nah. This was never that serious. All you had to do was bar up. All right, since we're on the topic now, real or weird, J. Cole apologizing for dissing Kendrick. I got, I hate that those are the two options. Welcome to the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome, welcome to, to the, the podcast. podcast. All right, let's podcast. Nigga. Uh, I'm gonna say what he. I don't think he's weird. What he did was weird. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I'm okay. not. I'm not asking really weird on J Cole. J yeah. Cole apologizing to Kendrick. Really weird. I think he should have just uh, thugged it out because mm-hmm. that nigga's pen is crazy. Yeah, bro, his pen like, is ridiculous. He didn't need to fall back. Actually, like that. here's the crazy thing, like. He doesn't put out better music than both of them, but I personally believe he has better bars than both of them when he really, really gets in that bag. And and he let me down. And it's, it's I'm mad because I wanted to see... It's it's the big three. Yep, it's yeah. like the same shit with boxing. Like, you know, with the heavyweights you had, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua. Yeah. And it's like right now, Cole is... Looking like Anthony Joshua a couple years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Losing yep. Andy Ruiz. Yeah, it's bro, like, bro, what on. the yeah. fuck are you doing? Yeah. And like, and like when you look <clears throat> at Anthony Joshua to take it back to boxing, and you see like he's big as shit, technically sound. Yeah. Tyson Fury's just like fat, doy motherfucker. Mm-hmm. That's like, nigga, you don't even put the work in. Yeah. You know, I say, well, there's like, nigga, if you actually had your technique down, you'd be the best. But yeah, like, he's got the physique and yeah, everything. So yeah, like he's, he's built got for it. it. But then like mentally, it's like, the nigga checked out. Yeah. It's the same shit with J. Cole. It's like, yeah. nigga, you have it. I know you have it in you. Yeah. Get the fucking job done. Yeah. That's what it is. It's just mental, bro. Because I agree with you, bro. I think if anyone, I think Cole might have the highest level of bars, like reachability. While like he can reach different heights. I've heard some shit where I'm like, damn, nigga, if you come like that, if but he can't, I don't think he can do it with a specific target in mind. Like, I think recently, I think people have started getting that perception. And I think it's weird, by the way. Before we start digging into Same. J. Cole bars. Yeah. Um, I think people started getting that perception because J. Cole like went away from storytelling. Cause you're not gonna out storytell Kendrick. You're not gonna out storytell Drake either. Really? And I think J-, J Cole's out right there, bro, with storytelling. Yeah, he can. You can out storytell Kendrick I don't know or about Drake. Okay, Drake. Good kid, Mad City Kendrick, that's the one, but J. Cole holds his own. Like, I think he kind of came up storytelling, I, like, low-key. I think, J. Cole did. I think, yeah. yeah, he did, but I think he, it started turning corny. Like, songs like Wet Dreams is, yeah, because I think the cor- he ran out of subjects. It's the corniest shit ever, he bro. He was relating to college students that were, like, 18 and 20 years old, and I think they kind of grew up a little yeah, bit. And it's like, find some bro, tell us stories about your life. That's what Kendrick gives us. That's what Drake gives us. They tell us about their lives, right? Well, his life's not just that interesting. Wait, what stories just riding, Drake tell? riding bicycles and shit. Right now, it's stories about fucking bitches who's 25. But before but then, he's but saying what's before up. then, that's not a story. That's not a story. I mean, if you're living that life and you're telling us how you're living it, blocker blockers, <laughs> I'm fucking 25 year old bitches and riding with the blockers. But my favorite storytelling <laughs> from Drake is probably "Look What You've Done." I think that's a top five Drake song. He, yeah, that was storytelling. I don't, I don't know about top five, but that's yeah. That was storytelling from like I don't know, like a some privileged kid perspective. It is was it a good song? It was wh- a good song. Is it like from uh, like because the the parts that I like the most are the songs where he's all like, "And my stomach was sucking wet." She only five two. Where he's talking about like consoling his mother, who's like, you know, hella depressed because the dad just left. You know, yeah. it, it's, it's things like that where I'm just like, okay, that's a bag that J Cole decided not to go to, because J Cole could talk about shit like that, because he's coming from a single parent household. Kind of does but though. He does. 
on his on his mixtapes. Oh, uh, have you ever heard Three Wishes? Mark yeah, Jacob? yeah, yeah. Um, he does. Um, yeah. But like, he has so many different examples of uh, the song "For Your Eyes Only," Three Wishes." For Your Eyes Only wasn't about him though. That was but from. He, no, but it's still <coughs> him storyteller. Is him storytelling? Yeah. I mean, even even uh, I'm not a Kendrick fan, but Kendrick tells stories from sometimes not his perspective as well too. Sometimes true. He's so just like mm-hmm. you don't have to do it from your own perspective. You can do it from other people's perspective and still tell the story. Well, anyway, he went away from it for a reason, right? And then he started diving more into the punchline heavy yeah. like rap shit. Which and is where I was like, oh. And we don't really hear right. that from like Kendrick or Drake too often anymore unless they're in that battle mindset. Yeah. Yeah. So everyone was all like, oh, J. Cole, you know, he's hitting his prime type shit. But it's actually, no, he's just putting out content that we are more able to like digest. Yeah, right? it's just more like battle ready shit, yeah. basically. But I don't think he was, I think Kendrick and Drake have had bars about each other in the tuck for years. I don't think J. Cole has ever written something about those two. No. He was in a rhythm. He was in a rhythm. He was shooting in the gym, putting up threes. He said, I can shoot this one from half court. Made it and then realized, oh, I have to keep shooting from half court? Yeah. No. Nah, that's not what it is. Nothing direct. He's had shit about Kendrick and Drake, but it's usually like subs. Like the secret recipe. built for this, The secret recipe shit where it's just like, all right, you're obviously talking about like Kendrick talking about like stepping, it's like all right, bro. Yeah. But it's not hard enough for you to be like, okay, he's gonna kill him, and then he finally comes out, and after shout, actually, whatever, I can't, I can't say, okay, I'm taking from my, I'm, I'm about to. You about to do what, nigga? What, what, what do you say when you like copy somebody? Uh, I'm about to plagiarize myself. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, but yeah, mm. it's for later. Okay, Damn. stay tuned. <laughs> it's like two minutes from now. I okay. bet. But yeah, um, what was he gonna say about what you think it is? Why he think? Why do you think J Cole bowed out? Because that's re- my thing. The reason why I think he bowed out is not because he doesn't have the pen. I think it's like shit's about to get ugly. No, yeah, that's so what I mean. Just, like, like what? Yeah, so yeah. like at the end of the day, it's like let's say you gotta be ready to shoot. Let's say, let's say if you're gonna like, do this. Let's say it's like I'm gonna take it back to boxing. Yeah, real quick. If we're all like, hey, let's run a fair one. Let's just see where each other's mm-hmm. at. Yeah. We, we got the gloves on. We're yeah. in a ring. We run a fair one, right? Yeah. And then I'm li- like, y'all two are really into it. And I'm yeah. like, don't forget about me, nigga. Like, I yeah. got hands too. Yeah. And then y'all are like, hey, like EJ comes to me on the side. is like, bro, we about to take the gloves off. If you're not right with the bare knuckle boxing shit, because mm-hmm. there's actually deep animosity here. Yeah. You might want to back out. And then you tell me the same thing. And I'm like, well, bro, I thought we were just throwing on the gloves. Y'all, yeah. t- y'all telling me the gloves coming off and we doing bare knuckle and it's really animosity. You yeah. know what? I'm gonna back out because this ain't my fight. But he, I'm gonna let y'all have it. But here's the thing about rap: like you have to be willing to go that far if you want the number one spot. So, yeah. Okay, so okay, and I'm, he's been saying he wants it. So okay, let's take it to let's take it to Tupac, Biggie, and Nas. Okay, Nas is J Cole in the situation, and it doesn't matter who you think Tupac and Biggie is out of Drake and fucking uh, Drake and Kendrick. But what did what did uh, you know how they had, you know, Tupac and Biggie, they had their beef, and they yeah. like blew, you know, blew everything up? Yeah. Nas was never in that bag for real. The only time he really came out and, like, had a whole beef situation w- was with Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't, like, the original big three of that time. Mm-hmm. It wasn't that Nas couldn't compete. It was like, bro, I'm not I'm not on that, like, I type can't, of time. I can't. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm cool, I can't, man. I can't. Yeah. niggas know I can fucking rap. I can't yeah. jack that because they were all way too young to be considered, like, the big three of their era at the time. You don't think so? Biggie was one album in, Tupac had a bunch of shit, but like Nas was one album in. So it was like they were hot, but yeah, they, they were, were hot, but they weren't like the top the of the long, game. The it, longevity like, wasn't there. like, yeah, we're talking about like you can't go up against like Snoop and Ice Cube at that time. Yeah. Like mid nineties. True, yeah. At that time, especially Ice Cube, nigga was like a decade in LL Cool J. That, yeah. like, that's what that's what's bothering me about the J. Cole shit is that like, bro, we see you do everything, bro. Like we see you do everything. This was a chance, like you're not gonna lose your fans. It's not like you coming up and you're gonna lose all your fans because people are gonna clown you. You're gonna have your core fans for regardless. All we wanna see, we've seen the tapes, we've seen the albums, the stock the obviously, all that shit. All I wanna see is you go toe to toe with your peers. That's it. I just wanna see you go toe to toe with your peers. And see if you can hang, hang lyrically. But you know what? Like Mike said, though, he's not. I don't really think he's got it in his heart to do this. But my thing was, why would you even start this shit then? 
Why would you even drop all these hints? That was drop a friendly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It doesn't feel like then he heard Drake shit probably was like, Woo, all right, let me fall the fuck back. Thanks. 